Yeah, I want to give a little lesson on it. actually how to read it on um, analog oscilloscope. And it's fairly simple, but you know, you probably best to set up a little spreadsheet because um, you want to actually, like your scale on here, for instance, your scale, this is all in your time divisions. They're in uh, thousands of a second. So if you look at the scale, you could see, you know, it goes from, um, you know, 0.1, I got it on 0.2 to 0.5 milliseconds and 1 millisecond. Because actually what you're measuring is the time of a cycle of a wave over, you know, how many lines are going to be going, how many increments. So each increment on this screen is going to be whatever that time division is set to. So, you know, it's probably best to use a little spreadsheet like this because if you're going to make these calculations or whatever the heck it is. And this thing is actually, this is an Itachi V355. It's good to 35 megahertz. It's only within 3% accuracy. That's the specifications. But from what I've read, the analogs are pretty good for reading waves. It's not bad. It's a good entry level one for entry used entry level use one whatever but so for instance if you have a thousand millisecond scale and you got it goes across one cycle and you know a thousand one second is a thousand milliseconds you got a frequency of one so that's one if it does that in one second it does it completes one cycle that's a frequency of one so I got these formula set up here so if I want to change the scale on the scope I just plug in what the scale is. So if it's a 0.2 millisecond scale, I put 0.2 and I count the number of blocks. I put that in there. It tells me how many milliseconds it went and it'll give me the frequency. So it's easier. So anyway, um, I got this set on a thousand. This is sine wave. And I already pre adjusted it. But for instance, if you were going to use. A different scale like in other words that's a 0.5 millisecond scale you notice like you got you want to actually make it so there's like as much of one wave that fits in the screen and you can change it like the voltage where you're showing like uh, 5 volt increments I'm showing 2 volt increments here so each one of these increments is 2 volts and um, you want to actually make the wave as vertical as possible and you also want to show a as much of one wave you want to show as much of, of a wave in a large as possible with a far with a steep vertical slope like this so you can count the number of um, uh, you know the move how far it's going to go over you know in spaces on increments so our time division scale is 0.2 milliseconds or two tenths of a thousandth of a second so you want to actually make this so this intersects right say for instance on a zero line and you want to count it over it's like one two three four five increments so for instance we know our scale here is the 0.2 millisecond scale and it's five increments which means it's one millisecond which gives us a frequency of 1000 which is what the generator shows I mean the generator is probably more accurate than the, the analog scope but I can see that the analog scope is working fine because it's intersecting right where it should be and all that type of stuff so but anyway um I figured I'd just give a little quick class on that actually there's a adjustment in here for the um, uh, the, the horizontal line the trace uh, rotation so for instance like if I shut this off you might look at this line if it's crooked you can change it you can adjust it with the trace rotation using a uh, non-metallic screwdriver but anyway um I want to go through the waves that are in here again and I didn't realize that um, there's a menu here it just says different things like if you're on frequency it says set frequency so if you go on this generator and you say um, wave it tells you right here waves sine wave 
Then you can go to square wave. There's your square wave. And then you go to triangle wave. And it says it right there, triangle wave. I didn't notice that because that center menu changes depending on what function you're using. And then you have the triangle wave. So I'm going to go to arbitrary. Now you notice arbitrary 1. Let me use um, here it is arbitrary and this is the one I was talking about it looks like a dampened sine wave and that's arbitrary 6 arbitrary 6 probably want to bring the scale down a little bit and here's arbitrary 7 this looks like a dampened uh, square wave now you know it looks like you know it's going to square it's bringing it down arbitrary 7 this looks arbitrary 8 looks like your H bomb but a sinal H bomb. That's what arbitrary is. That arbitrary eight. Yep. Arbitrary nine looks like your dampened. Um, I mean your your um, your 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 square wave H bomb. See. That's that that's what that looks like. Okay. So we're, I don't know if we could bring the scale up. See how it's changing the voltage, varying it, wham, wham, and it goes smaller, and it goes wham, wham. That's arbitrary 9. Arbitrary 10. Let's see what this is. You know, it looks like it's a negative spike. You can see that spike down there? That's what it looks like it's doing, negative spike. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. See? Negative spike. It looks like it's doing a negative spike for every, you know, if that's a thousand frequency, it's doing it every, you know, right, you know, right at that frequency. Arbitrary 10, I don't know what that is. Hmm. I'm not sure what that is. It just brought it up like um, positive and it didn't. I don't know what that is to tell you the truth. I don't know what that is. That's arbitrary 11. Arbitrary 12, I don't see nothing. Arbitrary 13, arbitrary 14, arbitrary... Now here's arbitrary, just, just a plain square wave. Arbitrary 15. But this is a negative spike. See, that's on the zero line, so when I go to 11, I don't know if there's something else I need to be doing here to see what it is, but I can't tell. It's like uh, it just brings it up positive voltage. So if I go to on a higher on the volt scale, I can see it's bringing it up positive voltage, and if I slow this down, I don't know what the heck it's doing. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. To tell you the truth. I don't know what those other arbitrary waves are, but looking at um, and it's arbitrary nine. That looks like it's doing a square wave with spikes. Let me bring out the. Uh, yeah, it's more, that's more see, clear. Yeah, here's your sinal. Yeah, this is your sinal H-bomb is arbitrary 8. Yeah, it's more clear now. Well, that's about as clear as you can get it. Arbitrary 8 is the sinal uh, H-bomb. And arbitrary 9 is your square wave. Let me double check what that says. I'm 
Yeah, arbitrary nine. It'll state so if you could see that on the camera. You know, sometimes this thing doesn't focus perfectly, but the arbitrary nine is your sinal H bomb. I mean your um, square wave H bomb, square wave H bomb. Your nut eight is your It's your sinal and eight is your eight is your sinal H bomb. Nine is your um, nine is your square wave H bomb. Eight is your sinal H bomb. This looks like the dampened square wave um, for uh, seven. This is your dampened. Uh, let me move this. I can do this again. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> That's your dampened um, wave, sinal wave for um, six. So six is your dampened sinal wave. Uh, seven is your dampened square wave. Eight is your sinal H bomb. Nine is your square wave H bomb. That's interesting. 10 is a negative spike. 11, I don't know what that is. It just brings up the volts. 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 is back to a square wave. And Well, you know, I guess those are the important ones. You got, you know, it starts out arbitrary one is sine, and you got square, and you got, you know, it looks like a triangle or whatever. This is really where it gets important. Actually, you got to really re remember six is your dampened sine wave, seven is your dampened square wave, eight is your sinal uh, H bomb. And nine is your um, square wave H bomb. Then that's really what you really got to remember. <laughs> For because you're probably just going to use six. That's six, seven, eight, and nine. And nine right there. So anyway, you probably want to use uh, seven quite a bit. That dampened uh, square wave is a good wave. Now I want to say something about when you're using positive offset because with this kind of wave you you don't really want to use that I don't think you want to use a positive offset with the dampened square wave I think you just want to stick with um, a regular square wave because it's not the volts aren't going to go back to zero so much and I'll show you what I mean I'm probably making this video too long but um, bring it offset one see what happens the only time it goes to zero is right here it stays high all the time I don't think you want to be doing that you want to use it like if you're using a dampened sine wave I don't think you want to use it with positive offset you know I know a lot of this stuff is kind of like you know, in other words you want it to go from positive to zero positive to zero it's not going to zero that much you see what I'm saying you're probably better off using um, either the way I said on that show that video before where it was almost 100 with um, well I don't want to confuse the matter too much because uh, I got too long on that so I'll just confuse people but uh, just figured I'd reveal the really important arbitrary wave so you know you can kind of use this little thing as a zapper man it's pretty it's pretty damn neat and uh, just the generator alone. Say, for instance, uh, you don't want to, you know, you know, you couldn't be hooked to your computer or something. You wanted to run some frequencies with uh, the, uh, you know, just this generator, like a little zap or someplace. Hey, you know what some of the arbitrary waves are, and um, you know, if you're going to use, um, if you're going to use, let me just return here for a second. Uh, wave, go to normal. 
See, you know, now this is like a regular square wave. Let me bring down the, um, so you can see it, because now if we go to positive offset, see, it's going positive, negative. So you want to really, if you're going to run just positive offset, you want to probably just run it with a plain square wave, like with the whole the Clark stuff, uh, rather than dampened. And let me um, turn offset so now it's going 10 volts positive 0 10 volts positive 0 yeah this generate this this oscilloscope is accurate enough I mean I mean I'm not I'm not trying to freaking uh, split hairs here I'm really just kind of seeing what it is it's it makes it reaffirms what the generators aren't like uh, you know there's nothing really wrong you know they're agreeing with each other right they're agreeing with each other so uh, you know the voltage and the frequency and all that type of stuff so anyway uh, you know this is basically I was just showing how to use this but I figured I'd point out the uh, sick the you know the, the what do you call it um, bring that back down to zero and just to repeat one more time like it's really important maybe but it is important because if you want to use this like a zapper man this thing kicks ass to tell you the truth um, Let's go to two, uh, wave arbitrary. As soon as you get on number six, so number six is your dampened. Let's bring up the scale a little bit. Yeah, there it is. Your dampened, uh, your dampened sine wave is number six. Uh, your dampened square wave is number seven. Arbitrary wave. Uh, number eight is your is your dampened uh, H bomb, and number nine is your um well let me just say that eight is your eight sinal h bomb and nine is your square wave h bomb those would be the uh, ones that are the most important that you want to really you know if you want to use this like a zapper and um i think that's pretty cool because that makes this thing even more versatile because just taking this this thing is not much bigger than a zapper it's awesome it's awesome. I'm totally flabbergasted by this development of this product. But anyway, this was really more of a class on how to use an analog scope. But uh, I'm still learning, and uh, you know, it's it's pretty interesting stuff to tell you the truth.